All right, all right, all right. Let's get going here. Um, thank you guys for joining us. I am Alviana Brewster, the owner of Black Nurse Entrepreneurs, our premier networking organization for Black nurses interested in entrepreneurship. And tonight I bring to you guys some of our Platinum Elite members who are part of our membership. These are the people who are like our coaches. And this is all due to an excellent idea from my good girl, good buddy, I should say, uh, Miss Celette. So she just popped up on the screen up there. So hi, say hi, everybody say hi to Celette. Hey, Celette, how are you? Hi. This was her idea. Hi. And we're going to kind of sort of do this like clubhouse tonight. Um, my way of kind of setting this up was, you know how in clubhouse you have the stage where you have the experts typically up on the stage and they're sharing value, answering questions. And then you have people in the audience that can hear, but if they want to come to the stage and ask a question, then they raise their hand. So the way that we have this set up is the people in the B&E group can hear us and they can listen into what we're saying, but the people who decided to register and be on the Zoom are the ones that can actually answer, uh, get their questions answered. So I hope that regardless, I hope that everybody uh, enjoys the experience and I hope that everybody um, enjoys the value that will be shared tonight, okay? So uh, my last final count was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, elite coaches. So we have Miss Rashan, aka Lady Fire, that is here with us. Uh, we have Tamara Neely that's here. We have Celette Debole. We have uh, LaVon that is here. I uh, don't see Janet just yet, but she may join us here in a little bit. I have Miss Sharon Addison down there as well as Tamika McNeely. So these are your b and &E elite coach experts. So that means Whatever questions get put out on the table tonight, these people are the ones that will be helping to provide you with answers and expertise and, and lots of value, okay? So we will get going here. Um, we'll start off by allowing the coaches just to introduce yourselves. You know, um, I know y'all got, y'all do a lot of stuff. I know, but keep it, keep it short. Do a nice quick elevator pitch and, and tell us what you do and, and what type of value you bring. How about that, okay? So I'm gonna give the honor to Dr. Celette to start that off for us. Yes, because this is your idea. <laughs> so I'm gonna give her the honor of starting that off for us and then I will round it out, okay? So Dr. Celette, you have the floor. All right, can you all hear me? Yes. Good, okay. And like you said, elevator pitch, the point of this is for people out there to know that there are coaches that can help you. So that's the only thing we really need to talk about, right? So just to let you all know a little bit about me, nurse for a long time, B&E for a while, love it, love it, love it. Yes, we all do lots of things, but I am a startup coach. So basically, um, I know a lot of coaches out there are very niche, which is awesome. But what I like to do is give you the very basics. I take it back to education, back to school with a three-step approach of helping you research, then grow your business, then connect the dots. So that's basically what I do. I am a startup coach for nurse entrepreneurs. That's it. Perfect. Perfect. And I want to remind you guys that for those of you who are coaches, if you want to drop any of your links or anything, your coaching programs, anything like that, you can drop it in the chat here in Zoom and on B&E. Um, either or doesn't matter. But I think because I'm recording it in B&E, it's probably going to be better because more people will see you there. But you can do either or or both. That's fine. OK. Um, Tamika McNeely, I will send it to you next. Okay. I am Tamika McNeely. Um, I'll give you the short elevator pitch because like everyone else, I'm sure that I do a lot of things. Um, but as far as coaching, I am a business setup coach. Um, so I help people get their businesses set up from registering for their LLC, um, figuring out, well, first figuring out their business structure, um, registering for their LLC, getting their EIN, um, setting up their website, um, their email, their domain, um, giving you information about business bank accounts, how they monitor business credit, um, all of that good stuff. 
Um, so basically, once you finish consulting with me, you would have a full business setup. Um, so that is my main thing as far as coaching. I also do like purpose cultivating, where I help people turn their purpose, their passion into a, uh, figure out their purpose and help them turn that into a business. So that is the elevator pitch. Um, so basically, I can help you figure out your purpose, turn that into a business, and then help you set that business up. Um, so yeah, that's what I do. That's Perfect. my area of expertise. Perfect. Thank you. Lady Fire, you're up next. Hello, good evening. So I am a healthcare business consultant. And so I basically help people um, get licensed for starting their um, home care business or agency. Um, also, um, non-medical transportation. Um, there is other things that also I can assist um, people with. Um, Another specialty of mine is also um, helping people uh, fund their businesses um, in terms of when they just don't know how to, uh, what areas to start looking for funding. So that is my niche. All right. Perfect. Thank you. Tamara, where are you, sister? <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Tamara Neely, AKA the Nursepreneur. I'm located here in Charlotte and basically I do a lot of different things. I've been blessed to do that, but I love helping people that look like me, especially black females um, who are nurses, um, start their business, get involved in government contracts, um, uh, do open up unlicensed group homes, uh, doing CLIA labs, um, just really, you know, starting up your clinic, just whatever. I, I do a lot of different things. So when I learn something, I try to teach the community what I know. Very good. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, Miss Levine, are you available? Sharon, are you available? Yes, I'm here. I just can't turn on the camera as of yet. Okay, no worries. Uh, if you can give us a quick elevator pitch on who and what you are and what you do. Sure. Um, I'm Sharon Addison, known as RN, the number two CEO. And I always say I help um, or support others to live extraordinary lives, mostly women that I work with. Um, and I do that through speaking, coaching and uh, consulting just building your business around um, creating your business around your lifestyle systems and structures and high accountability. All right, very well, perfect. Um, Miss Janet, I saw you logged in, are you available? Hello. Janet, you have a bad connection, I think. Maybe try to come back in here in a minute. Levine, are you able to unmute yourself? Yes. All right. Janet, come back in here in just a second. Go ahead, Levine. Hello, everybody. Um, good evening. <laughs> My name is Levine Maxi Lopez. I am the managing partner of Madison Heart LLC. And like most of the um, other ladies, I do a plethora of things. Primarily, I train healthcare providers, nurses, how to open and establish um, CPR training companies um, so that they can scale and have a profitable and successful business. I also help them um, create their social media and their business identity, along with some marketing, by the way. Perfect. Uh, I think we covered everybody except for Janet and I see that she's logged back off. Okay, so um, me, me, myself, I, um, I don't know, I guess I'm the connector, the networker. <laughs> I, I do also help people start their businesses, but I think my stronger passion 
is to really help to motivate, push you to be a better person and then connect you with people who are in a specific niche. I, I can also do business startup. Um, I don't really focus on any particular business per se. I can, I can help with some things, but I think my biggest asset is, is startup and also that networking and connecting piece. So I know a lot of people, so I typically can get you hooked up with people who are a, a coach in their specific niche and they take that and run. So um, that's kind of what I do. Um, so what we'll do is we'll just get started. You know, we'll go down the line and have people ask questions and our coaches are here to answer your questions, essentially, just kind of how we do it there on, on Clubhouse. Um, if Janet comes back, Janet possibly is still over in Africa. So that may be why she's having a, a tad bit of trouble. Janet, are you there? Can you hear us? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, yes, we can hear you. Did you catch what I said in the beginning? No, I did not. It's, okay. Uh, yes, I did not. If you don't mind repeating. No problem. Are you still in Africa? Yes, it's 3 a.m. and I'm really trying. <laughs> if there's trouble, oh if God. there's trouble with the network, I'll just have to excuse myself, really, but I can listen on. Okay. Well, yes. if you want to um, chime in with us at any point in time, you can. So what I did, what this is, is I'm allowing the people who are part of the Platinum membership. I'm a, allowing those people who are the coaches kind of people to have the opportunity to ask, uh, answer questions. So we have some people here tonight with us that may have some questions about starting business or a particular niche or what have you. So uh, you guys can be available to give them some guidance. So um, I'll give you just a couple of minutes if you want to just tell them about yourself and what you do. Sure. Can you hear me? Yes. So again, my name is Janet Mukene Shaw. I live in a small city in Texas, Tyler. I'm a travel nurse by profession and I'm the founder and CEO of Best Fit uh, uh, LLC. It's a scrubs and PPE uh, uh, line of products. Um, I'm on Twitter. I'm on every social media that uh, there can be. Uh, I started my business back in 2018, but I did not actually go into real real uh, selling until last year, sometimes in June. So I'm barely, barely new, but I'm willing to uh, assist and answer any questions that I'm able to. And okay. I just wanna thank you for this forum. Yes, ma'am, thank you. I appreciate yes. you for being a part. Yes. Perfect. Yes. Um, lastly, I see Vicky Bugs popped up here. Do you wanna participate with us, Vicky? We can't hear you, unmute yourself. Good evening, everyone. It's Vicki. How are you? Hey, I am blessed. How y'all doing? Doing good. That's tell, us great. About, tell us who you are and what you do. Hey, everybody. I'm Vicki Bugs, the owner and CEO of Center for Health Educators and Safety Specialists, where I help nurses and um, anyone that wants to learn about becoming a certified CPR instructor for four nationally recognized um Certified agencies, AHA, ASHI, National Safety Council, and American Red Cross. I also help you uh, dump down on your target audience and how to build your business. I do a little bit of marketing. I have just now accompanied and collaborated with a marketer. So he is on my team where we can help you get your business off the ground, get you more customers show you how you can maximize and monetize 13 different industries in the CPR business. So whoever's ready to ask questions, I'm here for you. I'm here to help. I'm here to watch you grow and I'm here to watch you make some money. Perfect. Thank you. I appreciate you. All right. So we'll get started with the question part of this. And I'm just going to go down the line. What I'm going to do is I'm going to call on uh, the other individuals that are here on the call with us. And I'll give you guys um, just like a minute or two to ask your question, question. and then, um, you know, some of the b &E coaches that are interested in jumping in and answering the question, then we'll go from there. Does that sound good to everybody?
All right, perfect, perfect, perfect. So on my screen up first is Sophia. Do you have a question for one of these coaches? Make sure you unmute yourself. Thank you. Yes, my question is for Vicki. I am CPR instructor with Babcock Healthcare. So I need to renew in February. So I was just gonna ask questions if maybe I can get affiliated with her. I, I'm from Ohio, but I'm in Arizona right now. So I wanted to be able to do it in both places because I have the STNA school in Ohio and in Arizona, I'm just, working, hoping to set up a school in Arizona. So I'm gonna have questions on that. And I want to know about the CPR affiliate getting reaffiliated. Yes, so um, thank you for asking me this question. And yes, you can affiliate with me. I am uh, a training, I am a training site. I'm just not officially it because I don't have my paperwork yet, but it has been approved and I'm just waiting on the stages for my training center. So yes, I'm able to come down and train you. However, I do not do anything with CNA schools. There will be Victoria Randall or Lakeisha Curtis Reed, I believe. But um, I can contact both of them and let you let them know that you are interested. But most definitely, you can uh, join with my organization and be affiliated with my training center. I will be your training site. I will be in um, Ohio. Um, February 19th and 20th in Columbus. Yeah. Amen. You know that's right. Links are getting made right now for my marketing man. He's gonna uh, once he gives me all that information, I'll publish it. And ma'am, you can uh, register, and I will be there two days. Okay. Do you already have the price of it? Yes, my all my prices are twelve ninety seven. This includes a two day intensive uh, CPR instructor training and business planning with six weeks of coaching. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Does Perfect. that include our does that include our hotel stay or no? No, ma'am. You will have to get all hotel stays and all those um uh yes. details figured out on your own. I actually will be staying at a hotel. So once I finish my reservations, I can pass that on to you if you would like. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. Perfect. 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 Thank you. So um, also, just to kind of go ahead. I wanted to tell Sophia that um, I, I put Victoria Randall's information, her email in the chat. She does the CNA school. The name of her business is The Secret Cocktail. Did I spell cocktail right? <laughs> You're missing a so. K. But it's Victoria. <laughs> I left out a letter. It's Victoria at thesecretcocktail.com. That's her email. And you can also go to the directory. She's listed there too with all of her information as well. Thank, Thank you. you. For that. Thank you for that. All right. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. All right. Up next on my screen, I have Chrissy Anderson. <laughs> hey, sister. How are you? Unmute yourself. What question do you have? Hello? Can you hear me? Yep. I really just was going to try to see if somebody could like help with brand managing or like help me get situated and started with my brand because it's a lot of stuff that I need help with. Like I need a stylist for a photo shoot. I really kind of, I don't know if somebody can try to like point me in the direction of a virtual assistant or something just so I can get some type of help because I got so much stuff I'm trying to launch, but I'm doing it by myself. So I just need some type of help. A brand manager would be good. Somebody that can kind of tell me what I'm supposed to be doing and guide me. So I don't know if somebody can help me with that. Anybody does that? Who wants to take that? The Levons, the Celettes, <laughs> the Sharons. Hi, Lisa. Is that what's her name? Lisa? What's Chrissy. her name? Chrissy. Chrissy. Hi, Chrissy. This is Vicky, and I can only tell you this from my um my experience. I have um just found somebody locally that I schedule an appointment with for my photo shoot. So I just put it out in a group one day. Uh, I'm living in the Baltimore, DC area. So I just put out there like, look, I'm looking for this. I gave the person all my uh, specifications. And I said, hey, this is what I need. If you can do this, you need to contact me immediately. 
And that's how I went from there. And from that point on, I talked to uh, the person, I looked through everything who can accomplish everything I was trying to do. Not the different people that had this and that. I just looked for that one person who can do everything. And that's who I stayed with. I just recently did a photo shoot that encompassed everything I wanted to do, my brand, where I was going, uh, where what I needed currently, and they did that. So what I recommend is that you find someone that can do everything at one time, not this person could do that or this person could do that. Just a person that can do everything. And believe it or not, if you put that out in the atmosphere to everybody, somebody knows somebody that can help you. But if you keep that all to yourself, you know, you're going to be bottled up with just the people you know. But if you put that out to people and say, hey, I'm looking for A, B, C, and D, I'm pretty sure it's somebody out there that can meet your specific needs. And I hope this helps you. Thank you. Thank Anybody you. else want to um, chime in? Where, where is the, um, the question? Where is she located? In Dallas, Texas. In Dallas, Texas. Okay. I was going to recommend you to someone, but they're in Atlanta. So um, what I would suggest is that if you see someone's photo shoot that you liked, how it looked, you can reach out to them one and ask who did it for them. Um, if you don't know anyone that had a photo shoot that you liked, um, like Vicki said, you can just ask the question. Usually um, you will get organically, maybe people will, will um, respond to you. Um, and then you, you're the client, so you interview them, right? So once you get the name of a photographer or what have you, you ask to see their catalog or you ask to see um, their website so you can look to see the quality of their work or if this is someone um, that you feel that you can work with, you give them the details as to how you want your photo shoot um, to go, the deliverables you're looking for. If you have a particular theme or aesthetic that you want, um, you would bring that up to them and then they will tell you um, if they're able to do that. That's step one. Um, if they're able to do that, um, then you can go into pricing and whatnot. Uh, again, ask to see their catalog. Um, and then um, I can tell you when I did my photo shoots, they should send over a contract to you. Now be careful with those contracts because sometimes you'll have terms in there that is beneficial to them, but not necessarily mm -hmm. beneficial to you. Right. So you want to be careful about terms where they're saying they have, they own all the rights to the photos and that they can put the photos wherever they like um, and that you have to get permission from them to publish it. So be careful of terms like that. Make sure you read all the details of any contract um, that they would give to you. But the starting point is if you see someone in your area, your town that you like, um, their photo shoot or their pictures, then reach out and ask who did it, right? That's one step. And then step two is just organically to ask, does anybody know someone who does Brandon photography? And then you go from there. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, I also wanted to drop that... Um, I put it in the chat, but Sean Brown is in the BNE community. She's here in Dallas and she's a photographer, a videographer as well. Um, so you can just look up Sean Brown in our group or holler at me later on off of here and I can connect you with her. Um, another thing I think that's important for Creasy is Creasy's just really, really getting started with her business and stuff. So she's really going to need um, some good coaching and solid foundation. So you guys make sure that Y'all stay in uh, touch and communication with her because she's going to need that that nurturing. Please. <laughs> what what is uh, what Christy? What are you going to be doing? What is your business? An e-commerce online lash business, selling lashes. E-commerce. Oh, okay. So you got to shop. You know somebody right? else that you need to maybe connect with. Who? Um, Victoria Randall actually has an e-commerce site with lashes. Lashes. It's called yeah. Wow Lashes. Yeah, Victoria Randall. Uh huh. Her and her uh, partner. Who is it? Um, Natasha Welch. La Latasha. Yeah, they both do. Yeah. Yeah. That's Natasha I Welch. Uh -huh. Welch. Yep. And Christy, I put a some... um, course in the a link to a course that's called Monetize Your Brand, and she does everything and knows everyone in every industry because she's in the entertainment industry. Where so, you, you said you put that in there, the link to it? I put yeah, it in, it's the, in chat. the chat. She has a class. I think her class is $90. It's called yeah. Monetize Your Brand. And then you can reach out to her and she does, she knows everybody in every state because she's in the entertainment business. Wonderful. Thank y'all. Mm.
Perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, Choma, come off of mute and explain. I think you want to know about lashes or something, if you're able to. Yeah, I w- yeah, I was just asking. You said um, somebody in Victoria Randall. Do you know what their website is for the lashes? Ooh, I don't. I know the name of it's Wow Lashes, but I don't know okay. if that's the website or not. Um, you can holler at me or, or or get with Victoria and see. Uh, Victoria's mm-hmm. traveling. She's out of town right now, but yeah. Here's okay. some quick tips, um, Alviona. <clears throat> I'm not sure you have a, shop to, a Shopify website. A lot of their ladies who sell lashes, usually they have it on some type of Shopify e-commerce website. Yeah. You can look into getting um, an influencer. <clears throat> Doesn't have to be inexpensive. Get some models who can um, advertise your lashes. I'm sure you have different styles, different lengths. Um, yes, or you ma'am. can get an influencer and then you... So people are very visual. Um, so they want to see a little bit more than lashes in a case. They want to see and imagine how it's going to look on them. So if you right. can get models that you can um, take pictures um, or even show the before and after side, people are very, very visual. And when they see that and they can imagine themselves looking that glamorous, that fly, they're more apt to make that impulse purchase. So that's just a marketing tip out there for you. Thank you. I'm taking everything. I'm taking it all. <laughs> Good. That's what we want you to do. Our <laughs> ultimate goal is for us to be successful. Yes. This is, I can. Um, this is Vicky. My daughter's a, a celebrity makeup artist. I can get you in uh, contact with her. She also uh, does lashes and photos. So I will inbox you her information, and I will have her talk to you directly. I'm the mother. I'll make sure she pick up the <laughs> inbox you. I'll make sure she contact you directly. You like me, turn uh, up. So she can help you out if that uh, if that if you're okay with that. I'm very much okay with that. What information do you need from me? Uh, just inbox me your uh, email address, and I'll have her contact you, and you two can chat. Okay. Thank you, Miss Vicky. Perfect. It looks like Celette dropped uh, Victoria Randall's link there in the chat, mywildlashes.com. So for those of you that were interested in knowing what it was. So I'm going to reset the room because that's what we do on Clubhouse, right? That's Clubhouse. <laughs> Re- reset the Zoom, okay? PR. Fold to refresh. Let me pull it, right? <laughs> so for those of you who are just popping into our Zoom, we are talking with our platinum elite coaches. We have coaches here that specialize in a variety of things, whether you need startup, whether you need home care, group home, CPR, CLIA wave, um, you kind of name it. We Either we can help you or we probably can connect you with somebody that has an answer for you. So um, right now, the people who are here on the screen that we have, we're just going through them and answering those questions for you. So next up on my screen, I have Miss Lisa Cooper. I'll give you the opportunity to answer, ask your question, ma'am. Um, I have a couple of questions here. Do one for right now, Lisa, now. Oh, okay. <laughs> As you know, I had a list. Just do one for now, okay? We'll come back around, all right? <laughs> okay, so I'll start with the uh, home care exemption um, because I've been trying to uh, complete that and trying to understand it. I'm trying to understand if I have a home care agency, what is what are the benefits of going through the process of getting that home health, uh, home health care exemption? The Rashans, the Tamaras, the Sharons. So are you in Florida? Yes. Okay, so getting a home care um, agency exemption would allow you to be a licensed home care agency. So you would be registered in the state of Florida just like any other home care agency. Mm -hmm. So when someone looks you up or looks up your business, it doesn't say exemption, it says whatever your business is. So okay. you're recognized as a home care agency. Mm-hmm. The difference between you and a the exemption and another home care agency is that you are the only one that can provide those services. So you can't hire others to provide the services. So that's okay. the difference. The only, the way around that is if you have a homemaker companion license as well. And so then you could then hire homemaker companions to go out to do those other services.
Do you follow me? Yes, I was just writing some things down. Okay, okay. Um, so actually, it's cheaper for you to get an exemption mm -hmm. and get a homemaker companion license. Okay. Build your clientele. Then if you decide to be a full-fledged agency where you're adding on employees mm -hmm. and physical therapy mm -hmm. and other types of different services you can but under the exemption it allows you to do everything that you can do under your nursing license and also dme dme too okay inboxer okay yeah i'll have to definitely um thank you for sharing that information because i was completely confused about that but i'll definitely have to uh do some research some more research on that uh to ensure that i understand that home care agency exemption but thank yeah. you for definitely clearing up some uh, confusion for me. in the long run um in terms of money because if you did a home care agency you actually have to have a brick and mortar okay location Mm -hmm. Also, you have to have at least $50,000 of operation costs mm -hmm. along with showing the CPA your financials. Um, also, um, they require you to get um, an accreditation. Oh, for the home care agency, if I went that route. Gotcha. Right. If you went to do a full-fledged home care agency where you were going to hire a uh, staff. Okay. Okay. The exemption is only for you. The exemption is, oh, okay. The exemption is only for me. Okay. Yeah, right. you're, one, you're one woman show. Okay. Right. The work so one is to get a homemaker companion license, and then you could then hire staff to provide homemaker companion services. Probably okay. have to check Sue for that. Sue Dennis, maybe we know a little bit more about that too. Yeah. Are you in Florida? I am yeah. in Florida, uh, Tamara. I am. Okay. Yeah. I, it was sound like it, all those restrictions sound like y'all were talking about Florida. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we get <laughs> special sometimes in Florida, but we get it done though, nonetheless. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. So, um, Rashawn, thank you for that. I may, is it okay if I reach out to you if I need some additional guidance? Absolutely. Okay. And I, I just want to say that um, for all of you guys, just remember that every last one of these people on the screen are in our directory too. So you okay. can get all of their information there as well. Nice one-stop shop. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. All right. Perfect. Uh, I'm going to break just for a second. And because Janet, you had your hand up. So I was wanting to see, did you have a question or wanted to say something real quick? Oh, actually, uh, it was about the question on photography and assistant, uh -huh. and I think she got quite some uh, information, but I was just going to say that I happened to hire somebody from here who does it online, so she does not have to be in the U.S., and she's basically my everything, my right hand. She can do my makeup. She can do my tweeters. She can do every little thing about my products. She's actually the one who is posting all my products that you see. I just had to give her access to... Um, to all my social medias. And so it's possible to even get someone who is not um, in your state, as long as they understand what you need, they are able to do. Uh, we just recently did our photo shoot. They will be coming out as, uh, as soon as they can. It's just that they are done here in Africa and I couldn't refer uh, um, you to that because it's yeah. right to way but yeah you can always find someone Chrissy uh, they don't really have to be close to you and if yeah. you have any questions reach out thank you thank you so much all right next on my screen I see Stephanie yes welcome thank you grace and peace everyone thank you um, my question is for Miss Tamara I am also an um, APRN going for my psych. I just wanted to know how she um, incorporates um, her education, her psych education background into her business. And um, 
yes that's that's basically it and what is she doing right now as as a psych um mental health nurse practitioner that's my okay question. okay hi stephanie um yeah so i'm a psych in well first i was the fmp back in 2014 and then in 2019 i became a psych mp so i I opened up my clinic during the pandemic because I have already <clears throat> successful businesses and I knew that it would take me into the office and I didn't want to give up my time. But, you know, so now I have a, a telehealth clinic for mental health and I also use my psych MP because I do government contracts. So I've been doing that for like eight years where I house homeless veterans with mental health and substance abuse um, disorders. And so kind of working with that remotely, uh, I have a team of about 20 people that work for me. Oh, wow. Thank you. I definitely want to get started with that. Can I have your um, information, please? Um, yes, I can put it in the, um, in the chat. Okay, thank you. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah, I'll just make sure that you, you can put your stuff, like I said earlier, in the chat. And also, I'm streaming live into BNE and group. So you can also put your stuff there too. Uh, I'm gonna say too, Rashan is a psych MP and she utilizes hers a tad bit different. So Rashan, do you wanna add anything to that? Um, well, yeah, I mean, yeah, I guess I do do mine a little bit different mm-hmm. than Tamara. Um, I utilize mine um, along with um, a supplement as well um, because I do um, holistic care um, and because there is lots of neurooptic um, supplements that can be used for mental health because you have a lot of patients especially um, African Americans that do not um, want to use uh, prescription medications so um, that is a good option to have and this make you um, more marketable in the business by doing that because that is what millennials are looking for. They're looking to be more natural and um, into the holistic uh, medicine uh, era. So that's another option of the practice that you could look into. And then another part was it was also the lab. Um, yeah. Oh yeah. Put it in the lab, you know, <laughs> we just got to do something, so we forgot about that. <laughs> yeah. So most definitely the uh, the lab. Yeah, because also that works too um, with HIV. HIV kind of goes hand in hand with um, mental health too. So if you have a lab, then you could definitely. Um, you know, go into that area. Actually, I had somebody uh, reach out to me today about um, partnering with doing some HIV stuff, so. Perfect, thank you guys. All right, up next, Miss Brandy Jones. Brandy, are you there? We'll come back to her in a second. Um, Phyllis, are you available, Phyllis Rawls? Hi, everybody. I wasn't gonna gonna talk. I was multitasking. Yes, you listen. You have to talk. Okay, <laughs> you don't have I'm the option say of not a talking. A little bit of something. Just a little bit of something. Good evening, everybody. I'm just super excited to be in the company of such amazing, amazing women. I have been a nurse for 30 years, and they didn't tell me. Let me find out that the nurses are killing this game. I found out by accident that you all were out here getting the bag. And I was like, I <laughs> want some of it. Yeah. And yeah. I've been running as fast as I can. Y'all have a whole head start on me, but I'm running as fast as I can to just get some of this wisdom. I really don't have a real question because I would take over. I'm like my sister who said, I have two questions. And, and uh, Aviana said, no, you have one question. <laughs> and so uh, I, I have just a lot, a lot, a lot of, of respect for all of you. And I'm just glad to be in your midst. How about that? So I'm going to say this for Miss Phyllis. Um, Phyllis and I have been working together. And because you have a stage full of brilliant people, I think we should at least ask one question. 
Um, I know that you're interested in doing CPR instructor coming up. You have two fantastic CPR instructors up here on the stage, Victoria Bugs, LaVon McPhee Lopez. I think you should at least think about at least one question to ask these well, people. Well, and think actually, about I, it. Do, I do have a question uh, in regard to that. Um, how to even begin to market that and find uh, customers. And I think it may have been LaVon who said something, I don't remember, or it might have been Vicky. One of you said something about finding the people. And so I will absolutely love to know how to begin to find the people. Um, I'm one of those people who doesn't mind talking, as you guys can tell. And um, I love teaching. And so I'm looking forward to launching this CPR business, but I don't know where to find the people. So, so I would love I, to hear about that. So I can help you. And maybe LeVon can chime in with this too. So first thing to find a person is you have to understand your target audience. I teach a different perspective. I am an entrepreneur studies major. So you have to find your target audience. You have to get down to the niche of your business. What segment would you like to uh, offer your services to? Everybody doesn't need CPR. Everybody doesn't need to be certified, but everybody needs to learn or know some concept of CPR. I'm not going to say everybody doesn't need it, but everybody doesn't need to be certified in it, if that, mm -hmm. if that makes sense to you. Perfect so sense. What you have is understand there are about 15 industries that according to OSHA, needs first aid. Who can you offer CPR and first aid to determines who your target audience is? Number one, what I do, I get into the regulatory guidance. I get into what is needed per federal government guidance. I teach people, construction workers, wholesaling. I go through the whole niche of the whole list of my approach. My approach is different. But for you, in order for you to get customers, you have to understand who your target audience is. Who is your target industry? I'm gonna tell you this: AHA is not it. Look at this. Look at look at this BNE. It's seventeen thousand five hundred plus members on here. Some of you guys work in your hospital. Your hospital offers AHA BLS services to you for free. So why are you going after nurses? Makes no sense, mm -hmm. right? So right. nurses couldn't be your target audience. That's true. Um, so say, I have a little different perspective. Chime in too. Go yeah. ahead, yeah. I have a little bit of a different perspective. I like to throw out the statistics that 70 to 80 percent of all cardiac arrest does not occur in the hospital. It occurs in the home or it That's comes true. in the workplace. So what does that mean? That means there is a market, a huge market for people to know CPR. So what Vicki was talking about is you want to identify who your customer avatar is. Translation, what niche, what particular segment of the market do you want to go after, okay? Because all of your marketing collaterals, you want to speak to that specific niche. So if you have a generalized <coughs> uh, marketing, um, a generalized marketing field or content that you're putting out, mm -hmm. um, if it's not to your niche, they're not going to listen. Right? They're just some school mm -hmm. by So you want to have at least identify who your niche is. So I will tell you, based on that particular statistic, I, could, I can tell you pretty much everybody would have a need to know CPR. You can talk about the parent, new parent, okay? You can talk about foster parents. You can talk about that um, gym trainer, the physical trainer. We can talk about daycare centers. We can talk about foster parents. We can talk about, and I will tell you, I am an educator, I'm sitting right here, <laughs> about to educate some nurses. There is a need for nurses to know um, um, private, private um, CPR instruction, and here's the reason why. Um, some of the hospitals are going to RQI. <clears throat> I'm not a big fan of RQI. I'm a big fan of doing the skill. But if you have a first time person who's learning BLS or ACLS or PALS, they need an instructor. They need someone to ask questions to. And I can tell you, I get a lot of business from nurses who have either received inadequate or incomplete um, education on CPR from their workplace, right? Because I'll tell you, sometimes it's just a mill. So those folks who want to enhance their practice, they'll seek it out. Or with this travel market, I will tell you, I get a plethora of business from agencies. And yes. who their nurses going into travel now before we never did um, ACLS for med search, but 
they're going into these COVID units and they're mixed cohorts. So you have folks that are, even if it's just a basic BLS, they're leaving their um, company and, <clears throat> and they're going to travel. Some of them are looking up and seeing, hey, listen, my card is about to expire and I'm gonna be on the road when it does and I wanna make sure I take care of it um, so I don't have to worry about it when I get over there. Or they're not sure and they're scared they're gonna be in codes and they're not gonna remember what to do. So they want to have a refresh. I get a lot of nurses, I get doctors, I get respiratory therapists. Yes, some of them have it at the job, but um, some hospitals right here in my area, they are backlogged, they can't keep up and they refer them out to me, they refer them out to private. So I wouldn't necessarily say um, that nurses don't need um, or there isn't a need to um, provide CPR for nurses. Yes, the hospital does provide it, but there's still a market for that. Um, hey guys. And I, I'll oh. just throw in, this is select, I'll just throw in, I don't do CPR, but another group you all could look at for those of you that do CPR, my college, that well, the university that I work for, they pay a local company to do our CPR for all of the faculty and all yes. of the students. Now, I'm sure there's students that go other places to get them and maybe either faculty, but they'll come to the school and they do it for us. So going to these universities in your town, that's another way to yes. get a this. Yes, that's mm -hmm. true. A nursing home, they don't have some of them an in-house educator to teach them CPR. I get a lot of business from that, the NIFS. Um, yep. Um, um, folks who do home care. So there. So I'm saying all this to say there is, there is so much need in terms of industries or areas that need CPR. You just have to find your niche, right? Then what I would tell you is once you get certified, not even once you, once you start that journey, tell your story. Get your social media page up. You, hey, listen, I'm about to get registered for um, to be certified as a CPR instructor. I am so excited. Start to tell your story. People yes. don't want to look and see you wake up one day and say, okay, I'm instructed. No, well, what happened? I didn't know you were going to do that. No, start to tell your story. Hey, listen, this has been a goal of mine. It's a dream of mine. I'm about to embark on it. And then let them see you in incremental steps that you're taking this journey. So when you announce that you are a CPO instructor, maybe they saw you working towards this two months ago. Now somebody needs CPO and they said, you know what? I remember I came on Phyllis on um, social media and I remember she said something two months ago that she was looking to be an instructor. Now they're coming up to you because you already planted that in the atmosphere. Tell your story, post about it. The number one way how you're going to get business is by having your brand be invisible. How do you get your brand to be visible? You tell everybody that you meet, hey, listen, I'm a CPR instructor. Here's my card. Or let's connect, right? You on social media, let's follow each other. Um, post content, be visible. Tell everybody what you're doing and join organizations, network, network, network. I cannot emphasize that more. Chamber of Commerce, um, join organization. Um, I can tell you, um, AKA, my sister's a huge AKA. They have tons of events. Mm -hmm. They need people there who can um, provide some type of um, 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 CPR in, or first aid churches. I mean, there is, I can sit here. Illis. <laughs> yes. And I agree, with, I, agree with, you, there's a, I agree with Levine. There's a list of plethora of things. However, you want to think not customer clients. You want to think big business. You get what I'm saying? So when I go into, it's okay to teach my local people, my churches and things of that nature. I always think about what Tamara says, are you business ready? And business ready takes your CPR business to another level. And I'm talking about another level. I've been to those levels where I've received 15,000, 25, I mean, 15,000, $2,500 contracts just from uh, being a service disabled veteran on small business. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not knocking anything LeVon says. I'm agreeing with her 100%, but I think a, on a different type of level. I'm thinking, am I, is my business business ready? Who is my niche? Who is my segment? Who can I affect? Yeah, that's good. Yes, that is good. But I'm thinking somebody I terms and conditions with for over a, a, a period of time. So you already know I'm going to do this person 
uh, this organization, this business, or um, how can another business get me on to a business? For example, and this is off the, uh, it's not off the subject, but it's another part of business. I'm doing uh, Tamara's Clear Lab. She turned me on. Now I have Amazon under my belt. I'll be now drug testing Amazon people. So it's a bigger picture from where I look at. I look at that it's so many industries out there. You have to narrow down on what, uh, what's her name? What's your name, like, Miss? Miss? What's her name? Phyllis. Phyllis. Miss Phyllis, you have to narrow down on what you want to do. Don't get entangled because you're going to get confused about what this, this, and that. What do you want to do? What industry do you want to tackle? Because it's a lot. Like LeBron said, you can go to churches. You can do hospitals. You can do so much. But what do you actually want to do? Where's your niche? Where's your segment? Well, who's your audience? And that's what basically you would have to, dump, you know, you would have to figure that out and then move from that point. Um, yeah, just to, wrap it up, Phyllis, just to wrap it up, Phyllis, um, when, when instructors to be take my course, it's a two day um, intensive, the first day um, they get the instructor training. We do, you, you guys know this, a lot of hands-on training, we turn them on. The second day is all business. But prior to that, they have a five week uh, workshop. I have a, a book that we work in, that's our Bible, small b, and before you can get to any of these things, your, your business has to be built on a solid foundation. And these are basics before you even can get to all of these companies, because the companies are not going to do business with you. Most likely you get a Gmail address. Company don't want to do business with you if you don't have an EIN number and, uh, or, or you, you're not registered with your, your state. So the building business. So that's a given, right? And then of course you have to decide how much you want to do where your niche wants to be and how you want your business set up, how much time and energy you want to put into the business. Because everybody's at different places. Everyone does not want the same thing. So there's a whole different way um, that you can do your CPR. But, but in the beginning, you're going to have to decide where you want to, do you want to deal with companies, right? Do you want to make sure that you have your small business um, women minority certification? Do you want to have that? Do you want to just have that as your niche, or do you want to have it, you know, as regular folks, or do you want to mix? There's nothing wrong with having a avatar number one and avatar number two, right? So all of that is something that you're going to have to think and put a lot of forethought on, but your immediate question is tell your story, let people know what you're doing, and um, put sunlight on your business. You've got to post and social media is the name of the game. Yeah, you're gonna send out letters and contact um, executives and, and um, safety officers and what have you, and that's fine. But I'm telling you, Google wants to, Google wants to show. That, that's my thing. So your business have to be able to be found and you wanna have your brand visibility very, very high. So when people are looking for it and they search you, you come up. But at the bottom line is, I think you know what to do, Phyllis. Um, you decide what you want to do, what aspect of CPR, how you want to cover it, and what your niche you want to go up. Or if you want to just have a um, um, a variety, right? A diverse niche. All right. Perfect. Thank you so much, ladies. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, guys. Um, let me reset our Zoom room again. Okay. <laughs> okay. So for, for those of you who have joined us, I'm Alviana Brewster, and we are just talking to our fantastic, fabulous motivating, encouraging, beautiful black nurses in the platinum elite bunch. <laughs> they are all listed in our directory. Um, currently we have on the stage, we have Salette, we have Rashan, we have LaVon, we have Janet, we have Tamika, we have Victoria Bugs, uh, we have Tamara, we have Sharon, we actually have Danielle there, but she said she was she was busy. So Danielle, if you if you want to pop in at any point, you just let me know. Um, but these ladies are experts in their perspective fields. Um, we have funding, we have CLIA, we have motivational purpose cultivating, we have business startup. We really have a little bit of everything here. Um, there's no need for you to go outside of the BNE community. I mean, you can go anywhere you want to, but this is the essence of group economics right here in the community. We have a lot of what people need here, yeah. okay? Um, and I value uh, the people that are in this community and I've 
met majority of the people, I've worked with them, I can attest to the, the level of value that they have and they provide. So uh, whatever you're seeking, you can reach out to these ladies and they have it. I'm going to go back to see if Miss Stephanie, are you available? I want to give you the opportunity to ask your question or Brandy. How yes. about, okay, Miss Brandy, perfect. Hi. I would love for you to come to the stage, our Zoom stage, and oh, ask okay. your question. What question did I have? <laughs> I don't know. Do you have a um, question? What do you do? Gosh, what do I do? So I, um, I do a lot of things like everyone else. Um, I have group homes, we're at Clear Lab, um, do quite a few things. We um, house people with substance abuse, um, people on the sex offender registry. We do a lot of mm. a lot of things. Um, you put me on the spot. <laughs> well, well, listen, people who are here are asking questions. So let me ask you this. Do you have something, a, a pain point or something that you need help with in your business? Um, you know, we'd like to go to the next level in the CLIA lab, but I know that the, um, it's mostly geared towards starting the CLIA lab, mm -hmm. but we've already started and really want to ramp up um, you know, we have several thousand sitting, which is not okay with us. Um, so we've dropped the price. We've done all types of things. So that would be a pain point for us today. Wanting to take your CLIA lab to the next level. Did I hear that right? Yeah. And, and we're not, we're brick and mortar. Mm -hmm. um, so we're not, um, we're not willing to go mobile at this point. It has been you know, really effective with the RNs to test here, at, you know, at the office. Mm -hmm. So that would, that would be a pain point. To How can we get to the, to the million? I mean, we have enough. We're, we're sitting on almost $800,000 in test. Um, so we would love to, love to make the money. You would love to share them with me. Is that what you were going to say? That's, that's what I was going to say. Uh, yeah, that's what, that me was too. what I was hearing. <laughs> that's what yeah. I heard her say. I would that's love to I share was... some of this with you. Yes, <laughs> Perfect. That's, that's, that's I'm going yes. to turn, turn you over. Message. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I'm going to turn you over to Ms. Tamara, okay? Go ahead, T. Thank you. Hey, how are you doing, Brandy? Good. I got your message um, on DM earlier and it responded back. Okay, I, I'll check it. Um, but let me ask you this. So what state are you in? Tennessee. Tennessee. Okay, so so currently I have a brick and mortar. And are you uh, doing any type of marketing? What type of marketing are you doing? Yeah, so not really. You know, I know SEO is so important. And we didn't have a SEO guy. And SEO takes a long time. So we just joined the state's website, which has been the main source of our appointments. We also put flyers in the yard. We did next door, Facebooks and things like that. But uh, yeah, see, there's no juice in here, baby. Hang oh. on just a second. Hold oh, on. so my yeah. Phyllis, will you? Uh oh, so sorry. Uh oh, oh my gosh, uh -huh. sorry guys. Uh -huh. I was calling y'all, baby. Sorry. <laughs> 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 oh, that was funny. Um, so um, what I would do first is, oh, this is another good question is, is your business government ready? Meaning that you have your NAICS, I mean, not your NAICS, but you have your DUNS and your CAGE code. Do you have that? Yeah. And I'm actually a contractor as well. So I would be going to the, I would be finding out who had, the, I mean, for every state they, there's monies available. Um, so you need to find out who got the money back, you know, when all this test started last year and see if you can partner with them. Do you have any like um, certifications with your business, like women-owned small business? Yes, um, we're women-owned, um, not in a disadvantaged area. What do you mean as far as when you say getting the money, who got the money? Are you talking about the uninsured program? No, well, that that too. No, I haven't even got to that. I'm just trying to see. Do you have your business so you can go and approach the people who got the money, where the money reside? 
the money resides with the people that's been testing since last year. That's where the money's at. And okay. if you got your business as a women-owned small business, then you need to be like, hey, you know, knocking on their doors and say, hey, can we partner with you? Because your business may be already in the community where it's needed the most, where you can test right there at your site. And think about that. Okay. Yeah, you need to find, yeah, you call the state and find out, you know, who, like, in my, I'm in North Carolina, and so I know who has the money. I know where the money reside, and I'm just, <laughs> I'm just, I, when I get ready, I'm going to go over there and, and set up a meeting with them to see, um, can I, you know, can they just, you know, send me a little bit of patience, it's about 20 or 30 a day, would my bottom line will, you know, increase it, you know, probably easily $10,000 a month. Okay, I can do that in the morning. Thank you. Yeah, and I, I would definitely do that. And then just like you said, doing more, I mean, maybe getting on the radio and, and using the, um, are you credential, are you credential, your business credential with all the insurance companies? We are. Um, so that, and that has been really our saving grace with this. Um, but of course it takes 60 days to pay. Mm -hmm. um, so that still didn't feel, I still just wasn't satisfied with that. Right. Now, are you doing the uninsured as well, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so, so yeah, I would say maybe even doing it, thinking about, you know, thinking big because you have so, you know, you got a lot of product, a lot of tests to do. So think like, you know, are there like large corporations that, you know, maybe plants that still have people coming in, they're doing, you know, three shifts, and you go there and kind of do like occupational testing where you go to them. Not so mm. much you're going to go mobile, but you're going to go right into this one spot where they got 100 people that you can get in between the shift, first and second shift, and do 100 tests within, you know, two, three hours. Yes. Okay. Yes, 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 we, we have the Tyson plant here, so yep. that's, that's yeah. excellent. Yeah. Also, we were approached this week by the film industry here in Nashville. Mm -hmm. Um, so. Yeah, I would say, yeah, just getting your foot out there. And once you start doing it and people see you, then word of mouth is going to spread. But you have to go where the where there's big, where there's a lot of numbers and mm -hmm. you, have, you have the product. So you got to think big, think, you know, a lot of numbers. And, you know, I don't know if people are doing churches, you know, in church where you at, but just, you know. Well, you know, anywhere you can go get like 20 to, you know, 50 people at one time within like a right. couple of hours is, is quick because that'll add up if you're doing that every day. Thank you. Thank you. I have written this down. Yeah, because the 12 or 15 appointments, it's just not, we're ready to move past that. So this is a good blueprint. Yeah, you need to go corporate. Yeah. Big, big corporate. For big, sure. yeah. Think big. Yeah. Uh, Stephanie, are you available? Paige and Stephanie. Yes, I'm sorry. I am available. Thank you. <laughs> What's your question, I, sister? Okay, anyone can answer this this question for me. Um, I just found out about SCORE uh, mentoring, so I'm working with a SCORE mentor. I just, there's so much, there's a lot of avenues I can go through. Uh, what should I actually be asking that mentor? Um, and also, I'm <laughs> at a point where um I have just just a lot of you know trust issues I I started an LLC and I and I paid $750 to do it so um I'm really I felt like you know I got burned pretty bad because it's it, it's pretty it's very easy to do um so I'm having a lot of trust issues with you know trying to invest and making sure I, I make the right decision um so but what should I be asking the score mentor what should I you know if he asks me what I want to do I mean I know what I want to do um you know, uh, like I said, I'm a family nurse practitioner. I just don't know where to start. I'm ready to quit my job, um, at mm -hmm. least go part time and do something. But I just don't know, like I just don't know where to start. How can I utilize um, my um, my profession as a family nurse practitioner to actually start a business? I don't have a physical building, so I just don't know. Um, where to start and what necessary questions I should be asking. So let me let me jump in first. That's what I was gonna ask her. Yeah. <laughs> what do you want to do? 
Four <laughs> people can't tell you, and we can't. Yeah, tell you. yeah. And you got to start with you first. Not today you're gonna be broke. <laughs> so, well, what is it that <laughs> Stephanie is passionate I, about doing, where it does not feel like it's really a job for you? Okay, I'm definitely passionate about home care. I I love home care. I believe that, you know, um, someone's able to physically get better when they're in their home. Um, I love it. I love concierge service. Um, that's what I would like to do. But I, I heard that it's not, you know, it doesn't, um, not that it, the reimbursement is not the same. I, 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 I don't yeah. want to hear what you heard. Yeah. <laughs> you said okay. that you love doing concierge home yes. care business, right? Yes, correct. Okay, then that's what you need to do. You need to build your business into doing, providing care to people in home. Big need for that. Because people don't want to leave their house. Right. Especially not elderly people in this mm -hmm. moment. You're yep. a practitioner. You're a provider. So guess what? That means you're full service. So you can provide everything they need to them in their home. So who start talking um, as the owner? What you what need to do is when you talk to the score guy, you tell them that, hey, you know, I really love doing home care and I would love to build a business plan that creates financials and operation costs. So then I can see what that looks like for me to start that business. Thank you. Stephanie, what state are you in? Hey, hang on. in? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, yeah. Stephanie, answer what state are you in? Connecticut. Perfect. Okay. Levine, you had a question yeah. for her? So um, to Rashawn's point, write down the things that you are good at. Things that you are good at um, and then things that if you were to work 60, 70 hours a week, it wouldn't feel like work to you. Start there. Once you narrow that down to one or two things, when you go to see score, the number one thing I would think that you would ask them is to help you compile a business plan. Because the business plan is that's your GPS. You don't want to, you want to have advanced notice is, does this business, is this business viable? Is this business on paper gonna be successful or have a high chance of being successful? Or what are the roadblocks that may come up in this business? The business plan will help you see that before you go out there, extend money, quit your job, and then you find out these things came up and, and, and now it's either not working out or you have to pivot and spend a whole lot of money to make corrections. So I would say you need a roadmap, right? After you do those two things, have someone help you with the business plan. And I'm talking, it doesn't have to be 50, 40, 30 pages. You can come up with a lean business plan where you have your mission statement, you've done your competitor analysis, um, you've done your, um, your financials, your startup, you know what it's gonna cost you. You know who your competitors are. You know if there's a market for it in your particular area. You cover all of those aspects on paper. That would be your second step. And then start to plot if everything looks good have an exit plan, an exit. So I would never tell somebody to just quit the job just like that, have an exit plan where um, if everything looks good on paper and you can raise the funds and you're moving forward, you start to plan concurrently an exit plan where you can leave your job at a particular point. Um, you have some, you have some guide, guide posts telling you, okay, if I do this at this point and I have this much save or this much capital, it would be safe for me to leave my job or cut my hours or what have you. So like I said, find something that you're good at, okay? And that you um, are happy doing and then have the rep at SCORE, the mentor work with you on getting a, uh, a feasible business plan and start there. Okay, um, Tamika, you were gonna say something? Yes, am I on mute? Oh, yes, yeah. okay. we can hear. Okay, so this is my area of expertise. I am a purpose cultivator. I can help you figure out what your purpose is based on your passion to turn that into a business. Um, I also do business setup. So I um, help you set up the business once you figure out what it is. 
But as far as SCORE, so I have a lot of experience with SCORE. Um, you said you have a mentor, but you don't know what you want to do. So of course, like everyone said, you have to figure that out first, even before you get a SCORE mentor, because SCORE um, purpose themselves on putting with somebody that is in your same area. So if you don't know what you're planning on doing, um, they couldn't have possibly partnered you with the right mentor. Um, so you'll need to figure that out, like I said, number one, and then they can put you with somebody that has done that because that's what SCORE is, a bunch of people that have retired from yeah. certain places and they match you with somebody that has done what you're doing or what you want to do. Um, so like everyone said, number one, you have to figure out what it is you want to do. Um, and that comes from what you're passionate about because that'll reveal to you what your purpose is. Like everybody said, it's not, you want something that doesn't feel like work. If it's your passion, you're going to want to do it and it's not going to be work. Um, but again, with SCORE, you can't possibly have the right mentor if you don't know what you're going to do. They just partnered you with someone and that's not really going to help you. They can help you with basic stuff, but they can't help you as far as what SCORE is meant for. Um, they also have a lot of courses that you can take. Um, and I know Everywhere has also a small business development center, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, SBDC. And they offer a lot of free courses, um, score charges for some of their courses. It's not a lot, $10, $50 or so, but SBDC offers a lot of free courses. What is um, it? If what? SBDC, Small no, Business, business. business. Development we'll, we'll put it in the, uh, Tamika, when you're done, drop it in the chat for me. Yeah, I will. Um, so the Small Business Development Center offers a lot of free courses. And if you go on the sba.gov site, and go to their courses um, tab, it'll give you courses for every state. Um, because we are in COVID and everything is virtual, it works to our benefit because this week alone, I've taken a course in New Hampshire. I'm in Dallas, Texas. I've taken a course in New Hampshire. I've taken a couple of courses in St. Louis. Everybody offers different courses. Um, and because it's from SBA, which is federal, they're all uh, viable to you no matter where you are. Um, it's not state specific. So um, like I said, figure out what you want to do. I can help you with that if you want help. Uh, my information is in the chat on b &E. um, And then you can figure out your score mentor or like um, Aviana said, we have a lot of people in b and &E that do all of this, that can mentor you, that can help you and get you on the right track. Yeah. I, I, I wanna Back with hang on, hang on, Victoria. Let me give Tamara a chance and then I'll come back to you, okay? Yeah, Go I ahead. just had uh, just a quick comment as, and this is for anybody that's starting out uh, their business. You want to make sure that you do your research on, you know, any type of investment you're making, um, regardless of what it is. Like you said, you know, finding out when you did your LLC, you found out later, you know, that you spent way more than what you should have spent and so you know always you know just maybe trying to get like two or three people um to find get quotes for you know a certain thing just to make sure it's kind of in the same ballpark or whatever um and just like betting them you know research them and you know because a, a social media will have you believe in one thing when in reality is it's not even true so just make sure you do your research. And that's that's generally for anybody, regardless if you're starting up new, a new business or you experience, you always want to do your research and look for those receipts. And yeah, um, I'm sorry. Um, so you said you paid $750. I just worked with Chrissy last week and got her LLC set up in a few in a couple of days. It did not cost her that much. And it just came from Four. Uh, vision board party. And she said, I need to get a lawyer so I can get an LLC. And I was like, you don't need that. And we got her set up in two days. And she is LLC. -E -E -E. <laughs> yeah, I, I will tell you, um, Aviona, about the LLC. Hang on, um, Levine. Hold, okay. hold tight for just one second. I got to switch over to Victoria and then I'll come back to you, okay? Real Go ahead, quick, Victoria. I was just picking back off to Tamika. Tamika. Okay. Um, and everybody in the group, I definitely signed up for three or four webinars from SBA and uh, 
SBDC every day. They are free mm. due to COVID. Yes, they do have a price depending on where you live at. Also, if you register for these courses and you do not, you're not able to attend them, they actually send you the slides on where you can go back from. I have been doing that since March. I have not physically worked in my building. I'm an occupational nurse for the De Department of Defense. I have not worked in my business, but I have in my field uh, for occupational health in my building. However, I have been working on my business since March and I'm in three to four different webinars a day. And if you register for them and you can't attend, they'll send you the slides. So like Tamika said, register for these courses. They are there for you. You can get a better understanding. The POCs for these agencies are there. You can send them an email. They are readily available to help you out. And that was just my two cents. Perfect. Ms. LaVon. Oh, I was just saying <clears throat> that when you do your LLC, make sure um, oh, this is the part that I see a lot of people forget when they do their LLC to make sure that they're filing some type of meeting um, and that they have their offices identified. And I don't see um, many people doing that. And that's straight from um, um, taking legal, cl um, legal classes and from my attorney. I see a lot of people, they have step. So they form the LLC, but every year they miss out on that part. So that is a, 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 a very, very crucial part that many people forget to do because they think the LLC, we just form it and then we just file our articles or organization, we pay our renewal fee every year. Well, it's a little bit more than that annually when you renew. I see a lot of people not, not paying attention to that part of it. Very good. Yeah, Thank it's you. different for every state. Um, there are mm -hmm. some states that don't have, I know Texas, we pay one fee and we don't have to renew every year. Um, we just have to pay, you know, franchise taxes and things. But I can help anybody set up an LLC um, from start to finish, basically A to Z, LLC, EIN, all of that for any state. Um, and I have all the rules and guidelines for each state on how to set that up and who you send that information to, so. Got it, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, let's see, Kendra, do you want to hop in here? Do you have anything that you'd like to say? Kendra's my cousin, y'all. But I don't know if she's available. All right, so. Hey, um, Alviana, can I say something? Absolutely. Okay. Um, one of the things, and I, I really like what LaVon touched on and with Tamara and everybody else here and Lady Fire Jones, I just love your name. Um, you know, when it comes to business, hey, Danielle, one of the things that I talk about a lot, when it comes to business, a lot of us, you know, we're the Lone Ranger trying to figure it out, trying to, you know, we can, we have people who can really support us in setting up our business. But when you are a CEO, it's a whole different bowl of wax. It's a different way of being. It's a different way of showing up. It's a different way of understanding your business. Like Tamara said, it takes a lot of research. And it also takes you being in a place in a space where there are other like-minded individuals who understand the language that we speak when it comes to business. Now, since last year, a few people reached out and a few people already, already kicking ass, you know what? Because when they show up, they have to present as the CEO. They need to know their numbers. They need to know their projection. They need to know this thing quarterly when they come because I hold them at a higher level of accountability. I also, I also own a brick and mortar and I'm here in Nashville getting ready to go home because these folks are about to kick me out, right? But getting ready to go home, but was still able to take care of my business virtually here. Because sometimes when we look, when you know, we build one thing, and tomorrow I gotta reach out back to you because the state told me don't add anything else until they give me that certificate for that clear lab. Having something solid under the umbrella, and then we can add other things to it. Folks, I'm gonna tell you, Business is not about you going in it by yourself. It takes you understanding. It also taking you really understanding your business, understanding your marketing calendar for the year, all of, all of the stuff that you do, all that research. It is, business is such a spiritual thing, folks. And I always say to people, it takes courage. It takes courage to live your dreams. It takes courage to show up 
and say, hey, I'm gonna do this thing. I'm gonna serve this community. And so when we say we go here, we get a piece of this, we get a piece of that, and then we're getting the wrong information. We're in a space where there are people who can support. There's some rock star people in b &E who understand business. And so this is it. Some of us, we are employees and we're, we're going into business with an employee mindset. For, for the first couple of months you may, but then you, you know, Alviona, you're always talking about the mindset thing. One has to start thinking about running a business. I was, listen, y'all, I don't know, some of y'all, I'm on clubhouse like four o'clock in the morning. Some of y'all pop in and pop out. It is popping three, one, two, three, four, five o'clock in the morning. And I'm telling y'all, when I go into my office, I don't want anybody wasting a paper clip. I don't want you wasting my ink. I don't want you wasting my paper. And it's not about scarcity or lack. It's because I understand what's happening in this piece. And so this is where we have to find ourselves and sit and start to think and read and do the research and start to think like a CEO. And whatever it takes, if it needs to take a coach, if it needs to take accountability, whatever it needs to take, we need to do that because we can do the work, we can do the physical work, we can exchange hours for dollars. But then when it comes to your business, it's something different. So that's my two cents that I wanna to say to anybody here who's thinking about being an entrepreneur. Perfect, thank you. I wanna just say one thing. Um, I see the fantastic Janet up there is rocking our B&E shirt. Janet, show, show your shirt. Y'all see her? Y'all see her with the black and white on? Yes, <laughs> yes. indeed. Yes, indeed. <laughs> I say, look at my shirt. Perfect. Thank you, sister, for supporting us. I appreciate it. Um, I am going to, I want to say one thing to um, Stephanie, because you were also talking about vision and having trouble figuring things out. Sharon does have a, it's a five-day challenge, correct, Sharon? We spoke, Stephanie, jump on Perfect. and go to, Stephanie, Perfect. you know, you need to go to bit.ly from RN, the number two CEO. Look at some of my receipts. I don't say a lot. There, there are a few people who've been working with me who came with, within less than a month who got their stuff protected and they're doing some things. So uh, you can call me again, Steph. Let's talk. Perfect. I also want to remind you guys that Celette has an awesome academy too. Uh, full of all sorts of resources and things as well. Uh, so let you care to share any information about it? I will put the link in the chat. <laughs> but yes, I do have an academy and I also have a DIY startup manual coming out with all of the goodies. Goodies that I wish I had when I started my business 10 true. years ago. Isn't that just true? Lisa, I know you had, I'm going to give you one other question, Lisa, because you look like you got about 10 questions in you. <laughs> listen, I'm you got to, listen, you got to save it for the other <laughs> pop-ups we got coming up. Okay. Okay, cool. I'll be there. Okay. So <clears throat> my question now is, cause I'm interested, um, cause I'm listening to you guys and what I need is I, I need a mentor. So so I guess my question is, okay, and I would like to use, of course, one of you ladies here um, and, and in the route that I'm going, um, I guess number one would be is what's the cost of the membership to the B&E. Number two, if we do get the membership from the B&E, do we get a, uh, is that where we get our coach from, our mentor from? Does that come along with that? So uh, b and &E membership itself is geared towards currently somebody that has a business, a, okay. a standing business, because um, I have not launched the mentorship piece to it yet. Okay. okay. So you joining b and &E membership is not necessarily for that purpose. Okay. 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 Um, the membership, the members that are in the membership are being showcased tonight for their value and what they have, but two kind of separate things, okay? okay. Um, when I do launch the mentorship portion of it, I will let you know. But right now, the best thing to do is just listen to, first, of, first off, put in the atmosphere exactly, be very intentional on where you're going, what you're wanting. Oh, who, oh what I, type already, of, I already what type know. Of, 
<laughs> yeah, sorry to cut you. I didn't mean to cut you off, but I no, already I... know who I want my mentor to be. But I'm gonna contact oh. her. No worries. Go oh, ahead. oh, oh, you already <laughs> oh, I'm know. Ready. Okay. I'm ready. Okay, I'm already there. I already but know. But just who make I want. sure you contact the mentor, okay? <laughs> Matter of fact, let me send her a message right now. How about Go that? Go ahead. All right, yeah. you do that. Okay. <laughs> but make sure you cut, Chris. Thank you, ladies, for everything. <laughs> this is fabulous. Thank you You're all, welcome. all for your words of encouragement. This is excellent. You're welcome. You're welcome, Chrissy. Yes. Figure out who you want to be a mentor. Contact them, okay? And and here's the thing: we you, you got the plug for real. I, I need um, my mom to holler at you too, cause we gonna have to sit down and talk. I need you to help me. <laughs> who, wait a minute. Who did you say has the plug? Me myself. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. <laughs> you, I need you too, though. Okay. Yes, ma'am. On all of, on on who to point me which way to go to. I got some more questions. I'm gonna ask you. I got you. I got you. All right. So. Um, let's wrap up, you know, we're at the hour and a half mark, so we can wrap up here. Um, anybody have, any of the coaches have a final word? Let's start with you, Levon. You have something final you'd like to share? Yeah, I want to thank everybody for tuning in and um, giving us a uh, viewership. And those of you on the replay, I want to thank you in advance. Um, you guys, you know what I'm going to say? You guys could be anywhere in the world doing anything other than this and you choose to um, give an hour and a half or whatever time of your time to listen to us. I hope that what we have said as a collective um, strikes an, uh, a spot in you that it uh, adds value or gives you some insight or um, help in whatever you desire in terms of being starting a business or helping your ongoing business support. I just want to remind you, um, I am the owner of Medicine Heart LLC. We help nurses and healthcare, non-healthcare professionals start CPR um, training business. We also um, help you establish your business and your social media identity. Um, we have in our store, and I'll come back and put the link, and we have one of our books, Comprehensive Guide to Starting an American Heart Association CPR. Any question that you could possibly think of, um, startup, cost, vendorless, everything's in there. I'm going to put a 30% um, code. I do want to leave you guys to know that everybody should know CPR. February 5th is coming up as National Wear Red Day. I am a huge proponent. Heart disease is the number one killer of women. It is the number one killer, even more than all forms of cancer survive um, combined. So there absolutely is a need for everybody to know CPR. You just have to decide if that's your desire how you wanna go about doing it. What niche, I will tell you, there are outpatient surgery centers, there are dentists, um, there are tons of healthcare facilities that do not have in-house um, CPR um, um, programs where they can get it. So there's a market, but you just have to decide how you wanna do that. And if I can help you anyway, please reach out to me, message me, um, email me, um, always, always send me any, and I look forward to talking to you guys in the future. Thank you. Rashan, final thoughts? Oh, yeah. i just like to say with Mike LeVon, thank everybody for tuning in um, and coming aboard. Uh, I really enjoyed tonight. Um, it was relaxed atmosphere for me. <laughs> um, but again, thank everybody for coming on because you could have been doing anything, but you came here. Um, and, you know, I appreciate you. Um, I'm very passionate about helping people um, because I really, really, really love seeing everybody succeed. Um, there's no reason why you shouldn't be succeeding um, if you just get the right foundation. Um, so um, again, I do live in well. That's my platform. You can always message me. I'm personable. Um, if you want to know the truth, straight no chaser, you're going to get it from me. And if you want to know where the money resides, you're going to get that too. That's <laughs> it. Miss <laughs> Janet, over in Africa. Yes, yes. It's almost 5 a.m. So I want to thank each one of you for attending today. I want to encourage you to join um, uh, BNE Elite. And most of all, I want to ask you to continue following Best Fit Links. I just found out that I'm restricted to post my links until Saturday, 8 
8 p.m. I don't know why, but continue to support us. And if you have any questions, definitely we reside in the BNE Entrepreneurs and BNE Elite. Just reach out and we can help uh, where we can. I will be reaching out to one of you because I want to be compliant as far as uh, IRS and business uh, is concerned. Again, I'm new, so I'll be reaching out to one of you, be any elite members uh, that actually work with that. And I think uh, I'm aware who it is. Otherwise, um, I'll be coming back by next month and we can go from there. Perfect. Um, hey, get with me because I'm not quite sure what you're talking about as far as being restricted. You're not restricted from my end. So no, no, know. no. It's it's like now I cannot post my links or anything until I don't know what happened. But Saturday after 9 p.m. Central, I should be able to post. It's anything I can not comment. I cannot post. You don't, don't got know. yourself in jail. He's in jail. I think it's called, uh, Facebook what sale. did I do though? It's your, um, your people that's posting for you because they're out of the country. Yeah. Are they out of the country? If they're out of the country, that's what's doing it. Yeah, child. I've been in Facebook yeah. the whole time. But I ain't do nothing. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I'm hanging out with some criminals, boy. I tell you. <laughs> Look. Facebook <laughs> criminals, boy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, I mean, you know, you can always remember, you can always email me, you know, your flyers and things, and we can get that out for you. But don't you get me in trouble now. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I promise. Yes. Thank All you. right. Perfect. Miss uh, Tamika, final thoughts. Uh, final thoughts. So um, like everyone else, I want to thank everybody for joining. Um, this has been great. Thank you, Aviana, for hosting this. Um, I also want to um, just reiterate that I am a pass uh, purpose cultivator. So I help people take their passion and turn it into purpose in business. Um, I also help the business set up from A to Z. Um, I know, Janet, you said something about compliance. That actually is what I do in the corporate world. Um, I do compliance consulting. So I am very strict by the rules um, and making sure that things get done and get done the right way. Um, I want to let everyone know that wants to start a business that you do not have to do this alone. It is not meant for you to do it alone. All of these wonderful coaches in here have paved the way. They've gone through the process. Um, I can help with business setup because I took the scenic route around business setup. Um, so I went through all the alleys and everything else. So now I can make it easier for somebody um, to get there straight away. Um, so if anybody is interested in business setup from pretty much A to Z, business formation to um, business website and having a, a place for your people to go, all of that good stuff, I can help you with that. Um, any purpose cultivating, um, you can find me at TamikaMakeMeely.com. And there you can find everything that I do because I do a lot of other stuff as well. Um, but everything that I do is on that website. So just final thoughts. Don't think you have to do it alone. It's not meant for you to do it alone. Uh, reach out, ask questions, ask for help. You'll never get any help if you don't ask for it. Um, sure. Yeah, Perfect. make sure you just ask. Perfect. Victoria Bugs. <laughs> uh, I just want to just make some few comments. Thank you, Avian, for holding this platform. Thank you for all the viewers uh, who have taking time out to listen to these wonderful women on this platform. Also for myself, I just want to thank Ms. Sharon, Rashad, Tamira, um, Tamara, because I, I like what you were saying, uh, Ms. Sharon. It hit home for me. Um, I always work with Rashad and Tamara. So I really thank you guys for just pouring out the information that you do so freely. I mean, there is nothing that you have never, you know, that you have ever withheld back. Um, my name is Victoria Bugs. I am the owner of Center for Health Educators and Safety Specialists, where I teach individuals, nurses, how to start, build, 
and grow their business through entrepreneurship, through business planning, and also uh, certifications. In addition to that, I have already launched Victoria Buzz Health and Safety Consultants, where I help organizations build safety plans and safety programs with standard operation procedures for their small business, nonprofits, and large enterprises. So if you know anybody or if you need my services, you can contact me. Again, I am Victoria Buzz, and I'm here to help you. Thank you. Tamara, final thoughts? Oh, yes. Um, thank you for um, hosting this event. So I pretended I was in Clubhouse and I didn't show my face. <laughs> but yeah, I really enjoyed this. I, I love what I do. Um, I'm, I've been very blessed. And so when God blesses you, you're supposed to give back and help other people. And especially, you know, Black women, you know. Um, so, you know, I, I've, I've been in business for 14 and a half years. And so um, do everything from non-medical home care agencies to licensed family care homes to unlicensed group home working with the VA doing government contracts, um, do HIV case management. We have a contract pharmacy. Um, I have a clinic, um, CLIA lab. Um, so if you're interested in any of those things, just um, reach out to me. Um, I do a lot of group classes. I, I, like, I have to teach a lot of people at the same time um, because I'm back in school again for the last time. Um, but I'm, I'm here for you guys, and um, I love to see, you know, when people, uh, and, 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 and disclaimer, I put this out here right quick, it, when you come work with me, you got to be ready to put in the work and, and, and take action. If not, you know, save your coins and go to someone else, um, because, you know, when you come to me, I, you have to do the work, and it, it, it requires you to do work, and then as you get your business up and going, um, then that's when you can kind of, you know, put it on auto, auto pallet. But um, I'm excited for everyone that's getting started. It's always um, a blessing um, for you to step out there on faith and, and start your business. Mm -hmm. And so you have to put the action in. And so congrats to everybody um, that's getting started on their journey. Thank you. Sharon, final thoughts? Final thoughts. Um, you know, thank you for this platform and it's, um, you know, like she said, we can all win and it's okay for us to support each other. My light isn't dim by me reaching out to somebody else and say, hey, I can support you. Hey, I can be on your platform. The one thing I always say, I always say people are a trip because it's important that you have trust, respect, integrity, and professionalism in everything that you do. T-R-I-P, trust, respect, integrity, and professionalism when it comes to your business. Like Tamara said, it does take work. Entrepreneurship isn't easy. There were some days that I'm like, what did I decide to do? Mm -hmm. But you know what? It feels great. And when you start, I've had people, close friend, came to shut my business down because she saw me as a threat. She thought my personality would be great for me to work for her instead of me having my business, which was like maybe 10 minutes away from her. And she told me. And so people will do that. I said, there was once a man who walked this earth. He had 12 people who were probably his board members. Just think of it. Some sold him out, right? Mm -hmm. Some denied him. Some done lied. They say, I don't know everything you could think of. And so those things that happened to that man will happen to you. Okay, so just know it, that if you know that you're called to do something, something that was divinely downloaded, the one thing I always tell people, you better know your why. And you need to understand that what you're called to do is supposed to make an impact on this planet. Chrissy, it's not just about eyelashes. It's about how you're gonna make that person feel and what else is it going to do for them? So for me, business is a spiritual thing. We live under spiritual laws. We've worked for everybody much, 400 years. Every bridge I drive over, that White House that I look at, who built it? Who built it? We did. So we need to get back to that and get the courage. And that's why. And last night, Alviana, my class went until like four and a half hours. And we I was just bigging you up all the way because you chose to do this. And I said, if, if kindness and integrity was a person, that's her over there. 
when you go to her, she will say, oh, that's that person's clash. She sends you right there. And so for her to create a space where millionaires, hello, hello, millionaires were birthed out of this, uh, out of this B and E. And sometimes I keep saying to her, but that's her. And I know her blessing is coming. So for us to have an opportunity to do this, I've sat in rooms where it costs anywhere over 5,000 and up to have a conversation like this, cause I'm in one of them that it's over, right now it's almost $10,000 to sit in their platinum program. So cool. Alviana, when I came to her, I said, what are your prices, what are this? And she knew it, I fought her tooth and nail because this was gonna cost at least about $3,000 to get in had she listened to me. So y'all better thank her for this. No, she knows. I sent her my contract. It was like 10 pages. Okay. And she knows. I said, I'm not showing her to anybody. But, but she loved, she loves us. This woman, I even cried on the phone. I said, God, what is this? She loved us so much. She could be making millions. And I know it's going to come because I know it. I'm behind the scene of a lot of groups like this. That's making millions. And she said, Sharon, I did this because she, if you have spoken to her, you know what I'm talking about. So when you come into a space and there are people in here who are doing really amazing things, reach out to them. Dr. Select, you're an educator. There are people out there who need what you do. That's not for me. I was just trying to get into nursing school and get out and work on the radio, which is what I did. And they got somebody else to run one of my businesses. But that's what I'm saying. It takes courage to live our dreams. Go for it. Stephanie, it takes courage. You already have it. You are educated. You've got it. Just trust the process. Find somebody in this group and just step into it because you're not an, a, a CEO yet. It, everything else you can do, but you're going to, I know it because I looked at your stuff and I prayed over it already. You are going to run and you're gonna build this business for you, your family and your generation. And it's gonna change with you. And so everybody, I'm sorry, I ain't a preacher, but I just had to say that. Thank yes, you for you this are. opportunity. It takes courage to live our dreams. Amen. Amen. I receive that in Jesus name. Amen, amen. amen. I know, Salette, I'm over here misty eyed too. <laughs> <laughs> um, Danielle, do you have anything? Do you want to say anything or hop in real quick? All right. Um, Celette, this was actually Celette's idea. So I'll give Celette the opportunity to kind of wrap us up here and then I'll close it out. And of course, I'll just keep it short because I've already said who I am. So I am just glad that um, everyone showed up. I am glad that um, all the participants that asked questions got, um, I don't even, a blessing tonight yeah. from, like you said, Sharon, from millionaires that you would normally have to pay to be in this space. But because black nurses need a space where we can be free and help each other and dispel that myth that black women don't help each other. That's, that's what I love about B&E. That's why I talk up B&E everywhere that I go because of this um, support. Something I wish I would have had 10 years ago <laughs> that I didn't. And becoming an entrepreneur, becoming a business owner, becoming a CEO, I'll say this to anybody listening that is not there yet, it hits different when you have to pay people and you're the one responsible. So just be very clear what you wanna do and make sure this is what you want to do. It's not a fad, this is not to be jumped into and just throw something together and do it. Be very intentional. And I think you've heard that a lot tonight. So that's all I'll say. Uh, I just wanna close it up and say, first off, thank you to those that are here that um, took the time to join us tonight. As they said earlier, you could have been anywhere else in the world, over in Africa or anywhere else in the world, <laughs> but you are here with us. And that is part of the first step is, you know, you can be with family right now, you can be watching TV or doing whatever it is you do, but you're taking 
that sacrifice to come and get some gems and nuggets that you ordinarily may what very well pay a lot of money for. And so part of, and, and this is something that I always bring up, especially in the clubhouse is that this right here for me is generational, spiritual and cultural, okay? And what I mean by that is I'm not, I'm not just in business because it's business and I wanna make money and I wanna be the boss nurse and all that. that. Yeah, that's fine. That sounds good. But you remember when you were in nursing school and how difficult that journey was, how hard it was, how many nights we had to stay up, how many long days and your, your family. Uh, well, I don't know why you still doing that. You need to be in here with us. We, we have this going on. We got that going on. Da, da, da. You're missing holidays. You're missing uh, major events. But it was that type of tenacity, that type of determination that got you through. And that's the same exact type of determination you have to have in business because it's not just about business, especially with the black community. It can't be just about business with us. It cannot be that. OK, it has to be about what is it that we're doing to take our culture to the next level? How are we instilling those gems, those tools, making those sacrifices in order that our generations will continue to survive and thrive? It can't be just about business for us at all. It cannot. OK, if you get into business and you just want to get into it because I, I ain't worried about nobody else and I'm just going to make my money and go. I don't know, you may not survive too much in this community because my community here, the whole point of this is to give back to each other. We have too many skills here. We have too many resources here for us not to build stuff. You saw it, you guys saw it. We have a black magazine that just launched. We have black apps that just launched. We, we have all these different things. We have products. We have all of this stuff. We have therapists that are here. The black community has to have therapy. Like mental health should be like a priority with us. That needs to be free, okay? We have those therapists here. We have everything that we need here, okay? There's no, there's really no need to even go outside of the four walls of BNE because I've tried my darn just to go and find people and put them here so that we have stuff. Again, it is the essence of group economics. It is the essence of feeding and taking care of our community. It's the essence of it. I put, I built a nice little table <laughs> and I pushed the chair up, but you got to eat. You have to eat. To the coaches, I thank you. But one thing I love about seeing the coaches here, all these 18, 19,000 businesses that y'all run, y'all are always hungry to listen to the next expert. I, I, I have this business, that business, that business, but I'm going to learn how to do stocks. I'm about to, I'm got to launch my group home. And I'm like, you already got 12 businesses. Like, what are you doing with 13 and 14? Why do you want another one? Like how many, how many hours y'all got in a day that I didn't get? But that's the beauty of exactly what we do. And if I can change the black nurse mentality, because we think we got it going on, we go to our job and we be like, listen, I got the bag. I'm getting all this money, this, that, and the other, but they will fire you in a heartbeat, honey. Yeah. They will fire you off that job in a heartbeat and will have, have you replaced by the end of the day before you come and pick up your stuff, you'll be, it'd be somebody else's name on your locker. Like, wait a minute, my name ain't Becky Sue, Becky. Who <laughs> name is this? <laughs> They will, they will let you go unapologetically. So we have to be unapologetic about our business. Mm -hmm. And all these nurses working these travel nurse assignments, they over here getting bags. I, we got so many people in this community right here and right now. I promise you, I will wrap up. They own these $10,000 week assignments and they running their businesses. Mm -hmm. And they pouring money back into the business. They got seed money pouring back into the business. Like, why are you going to work this travel nurse assignment? Because my mindset is different. I'm taking that money to feed my business. Come on now. Come on. Listen, come on. Come on. I am praying blessings over everybody on this screen. Thank you. Because I know that we have, we're like, we're really on the cusp. We ain't seen nothing yet. You know, in the five and a half years of BNE, I don't think we've seen anything yet. We got some really brilliant people here. But we have to learn not to fight one another. And we got to learn not to talk bad about one another. And we have to learn, like you said earlier, Celeste, we got to learn how to trust each other, you know? And we also have to not only learn how to trust each other, but we also have to present something that's trustworthy. Okay. So make sure that 
whoever you do business with, make sure y'all are doing business ethically with integrity. There's no need to come in, in, in our four walls of B&E &E and mistreat somebody. Like why? Like, please don't do that. Cause I'll kick you out. <laughs> I get rid of you if you're in here acting up, okay? But more importantly, I want us to be inspired and be encouraged. And I just thank you guys for tonight. This has been great. It's kind of like a, a like a clubhouse Zoom. And this was Celeste's yeah. idea. And so I just took it and kind of ran with it. So I think we should do other things like this, Celeste. I like it. I like it. So I'm going to wrap up. But um, I thank you guys. You know, I love y'all. I talk to many of y'all. It's very funny because I actually talk to all of y'all quite often many of y'all you know we'll have that two or three hour conversation and I know y'all don't think I do anything else but I'd be talking to everybody all the time so I'm very connected with you and I know a lot about you personally and that there's a reason why I do that I want I want you to know me and I want to know you as well so that we build that trust that should be here in our communities okay all right so smooches can I can I can I can I close this out in prayer what you, what you want, Miss Phyllis? You want to say a prayer for us? I want to close this out in prayer, if, that, if hey, that's okay. Go right on here. I just want to say thank you, everybody. Everybody's, it was great. It was wonderful. I love this. Thank you. Because the closed mouth don't get fed. And that's, that was definitely me. So I'm going to do my best to start reaching out more and asking for more help. So thank you. I'm sorry, Miss Phyllis. Thank you. Thank no, you. No, that's fine. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we just come tonight to thank you, God. We thank you for what our eyes have heard, our ears have heard, what our eyes have seen. God, what our spirits have felt. God, I thank you for every woman of God. Yes, woman of God, because the Lord used you all today to speak into the lives of us who are coming alongside. I thank you, God, for the time that they spent. God, I ask you to restore back to them, God, at their point of need. You know what they need of, God, whether it's in their business, even, God, in their personal lives, infants in their bodies, God. Restore back to them every bit of virtue. Yes, I said virtue. Back to them in the name of Jesus. I speak health. I speak wealth. I speak abundance. I decree that everything they need, they will be entire. They will be complete and wanting nothing in Jesus' name because they took the time to pour in, to impact, to seed into the lesser one. God, you said that when we give, to the poor, we lend unto you. So God, I thank you now for this time. Thank you for Albion. God, her eyes haven't even seen, her ears haven't heard, it hasn't even entered into her heart what good things you have in store for her because of the seed that she planted, God. I thank you for it. Now, God, I ask you to bless us all as we go to sleep tonight. God, thank you for giving us three hours of rest for every hour of sleep. We thank you in Jesus' name, amen. 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 Baby, I know right, Celeste. <laughs> oh, Thank you, Jesus. Thank Amen. you, good, Jesus. Good. Thank Love you, you all. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Touch, okay? Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Thank you.